What is up people and welcome back to another video to Brett's Vlogs and today what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing the analysis of United's last game which was of course against Middlesbrough. Now you guys, the first question I'm going to get from you guys is Brett, how come you're doing this video like a week later from uh, United have played? Well basically all, that, all last week uh, I was actually pretty much busy because I had stuff going on at school um, so you guys might be asking, well, Brett, why did you not do it in your spare time? Well, I tried to, but anyway, it's a week later. We have to talk about the game, but obviously in one of my vlogs, uh, I did say it was slightly disappointing how I wasn't going to actually watch the game live. So basically, uh, I missed most of the game, really. Uh, I only got to see about the last 15 minutes of the game. So basically, I obviously recorded the game, went back to the game the same night and basically I watched the game and what happened was United won 3-1. Very, uh, what, a great, what a result it was, obviously because Middlesbrough uh, are way down into the table. We needed the win, obviously. But yeah, basically talking about the game, I think United, it took United a little bit of time to get used to the the way how Middlesbrough were playing, um, obviously, uh, obviously, um, when the game had kicked off, I looked at the uh, stats, and apparently United had less possession than them at the start. So obviously, they got off with a better start than us. Um, we they created chances, and we created chances, but the better side was us in the end because we got we obviously won three one. Uh, so basically, it was a it was a great game. I look back onto the to the goals. Uh, so talking about the first goal. So basically, obviously, it was basically one of those games where we were getting possession and they were getting possession. But we we obviously got the result of what we wanted in the end. But anyway, talking about Fellaini's goal at the half hour mark. So basically, what a ball from I think it was. Who was playing left back? Whoever played left back for United whipped it in really well. I think it was Ashley Young. Now Ashley Young, um, I think he played well as well because he was playing on the left. So I think he, if it was him, he actually he actually did a a pretty good uh, cross into Fellaini, uh, a pretty good cross uh, at the back post, and basically all Valencia had to do is is put it in with his head on his head and that, and it was in for 1-0 for the Reds. So yeah, basically after that it was only 1-0 at the half time, at half time really. Um a few yard cards now and then. But yeah, basically it's a shocker for the Reds now because now we've we're not going to have Phil Jones for the rest of the season now. He's gone for 9 games uh because he apparently broke his toe while training for England. Uh, slightly disappointing how Chris Smalling's injured as well. He got injured while he was training with England as well. So it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big of a shocker, really, because we're losing our defenders. We shouldn't be really le losing our defenders because it's going to be coming up to one at that time of uh, that time where you're going to be having might have games after games, and we need them as well. Obviously, every game, most of the time, the defenders change and obviously rotate the squad with, with the defenders, obviously. But yeah, basically, talking about the second half, I think we played well again. Basically, they... Uh, well, not not the, uh, not Middlesbrough, but anyway, talking about United's second goal, what a bloody goal that was for United. Honestly, to God, what a fucking banger Jesse Lingard produced. So basically, the FA Cup winner and the EFL Cup skull scorer went and scored a fucking banger, top right corner, and it was no way for Victor Valdez to go and save that, but what a fucking banger it was from Jesse Lingard. I think that's the best he's played. So uh, obviously, not, I'm not too sure, but it was, it was a big game for him. He got the goal. What a fucking goal it was. But yeah, honest to God, 
it was one of those, I think he had a really good game though, considering that, because he basically dribbled and got through a few defenders and just went for the shot and he went fucking upper Benjamins, man. What a finish it was. So basically, after Jesse Lingard's goal, Middlesbrough had to do some changes because they knew we can't do we can't deal with this. We're two 0 down. Okay, we need to adapt now. So Middlesbrough went and did two more changes. Basically, United were a little bit under pressure by Middlesbrough. So then we went we went on the pressure, and I think it was the defenders really um, that made a mess of it. Uh, I think Bailey was trying to pass it back to De Gea. He tried to header it back to De Gea. Now th this is the thing you don't look as well who's who's in front of you or who's in uh, who's in front of you or who's behind you really. I think it was uh, I'm not sure if it was flagged offside, but it did look offside to me. Um, but basically Bailey tried putting it back to De Gea, and basically the guy was just like waiting for it to come off De to bounce off De Gea. But basically they went and scored. Uh, on the rebound uh, from so basically it went back to De Gea De Gea couldn't really get to the ball and then it De Gea tried to like put it back out but it was impossible for him so I think yeah it was a bit of a a bit of a jumble up and a bit of a mix up uh, so then we then decided to do a few more changes we then decided to bring on Martial um, yeah and then we took the piss at the end to bring on Damian obviously to waste time but yeah, basically talking about the last goal for the Reds, honest to God, I've never seen something like it before. But again, once you pile that pressure on them, they'll be all worried. And basically what happened was uh, from their corner or something like that, we sort of snatched the ball straight off them. You've got Valencia, who's literally come back with like a, a wrist injury and and he still has it on his arm, well, his wrist, really. But, yeah, he's a fucking great sprinter down the right wing. He runs with the ball all the way. I thought he was going to pass it to Martial because he was open, but he, uh, but he didn't give it to him. And, he thought to, and then he, he thought to himself, no, I'm not going to pass this to anyone. I'm fucking keeping the ball. He kept the ball. He went. He kept on running. Uh, he basically lost the ball. And then the Middlesbrough defender decided to put it back to Victor Valdez. And then you've got Valencia blamming it down, uh, sprinting, uh, and, putting, uh, and putting Victor Valdez under pressure. And then basically, Victor Valdez went and fucking slipped. And he, and he, and he spoke Middlesbrough's game in the end because basically they all thought that they could get a, probably a, a, a draw out of it. But at least we beat them 3-1. We did beat them at Old Trafford 2-1, which we got away with, really. That was in December as well. That was actually on New Year's Eve or something like that. Uh, and we went and beat them 2-1. That was just unbelievable how we scored one goal after another, really, at Old Trafford. But, yeah, that is the whole analysis, basically, about the United versus Middlesbrough game. We have got a game against West Brom. Um, so basically, I don't know what's going on because obviously there's a few games that are going on while we're in South Africa. So I might have to delay those videos a little bit until we come back to, to Dubai, obviously. So what I'll have to do is this. I'll need to take down some notes of what I thought of the game and what we need to sort of improve on. So basically those two videos will be out late. Well, well, well the, the videos will be back. Uh, well, We'll come back to Dubai and I'll have, to, I'll have to make the videos on the game. So yeah, I'm going to miss... Well, I'm not going to miss, but I'm not going to be able to do the analysis uh, straight up, like the day after the game. Because basically, we're going to be doing different stuff in South Africa while we're there. So one day we're doing this, one day we're doing that. So I don't think I'm going to get a chance to sort of do the analysis in the hotel room. Uh, but yeah, basically, I will be doing vlogs... Uh, in South Africa, I can't wait, it's about four days to go, um, yeah, obviously, what a game United did, uh, well, what a game United produced against Middlesbrough, obviously, now, uh, everyone's been having the talk how we've actually got out of sixth place, 
so yeah, it's very, very tight. So basically, we've played well against Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough are 19th in the table. They're going to definitely get relegated this year. And you've got Sunderland, fucking David Moyes, not improved his t squad too yet. But basically, yeah, they're at the bottom of the table. Leicester are having one of those seasons where once they've got rid of their manager, they're going to produce something really good now till the end of the season. They are through to the quarterfinals in the Champions League, but can they get through to the semi-finals? Um, I want you guys to comment down below if Leicester will get into the semi-finals in the Champions League. It will be great for them, but I think they may get kicked out. Uh, for sure. What a game Madrid are going to be playing. I think they're playing by Munich. All my days, I have to watch it. Um, so yeah, basically talking from the talk. Uh, so, so basically talking about the table from uh, first to about sixth. So basically, we all know Chelsea's way ahead. The, I don't know how many points there are in front of United at the moment. They're about a good nine. Uh, 16 points ahead of us. Yeah, just worked it out in my head quick. I think it's 16. I'm not too sure because we're fifth. Eight, seven, six, yeah. Yeah, it's about that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it is 16. So, yeah, the way ahead. Then we're not far behind us. We've got Liverpool, who are actually about four points away. So, now, I think Liverpool have got... Um, a few tough games coming up now followed by them is actually City and then it's Tottenham so basically the only squad well not squad the only team who can really get Chelsea is Tottenham now does Tottenham have the players to hunt down Chelsea they're only 10 points behind them but yeah um, United it'd be great if we can get into the top four kick out Jurgen Klopp's boys and they'll be down but yeah I think four points it's not it's not that far away basically all we need to get is is, is get uh, just just to get the victory against uh, West Brom that we've got on Saturday um, Liverpool have got a tough game they've got a derby against Everton that would be absolutely great if Everton actually can get the win and we can get the win against West Brom really so yeah it's going to be a bit of a time difference because obviously the game here actually well the game in Dubai actually starts at 6 and it actually doesn't start to like 4 in South Africa um, so yeah and then after that we play Everton so and that's back at home now we did lose to them uh, away so we really need to pull up our socks against Everton and we cannot afford to lose to Everton but yeah, hope we can get the next couple of wins. Get ho Hopefully get the next good couple of wins. Um, Arsenal lo looking good at the moment. Who are they playing next? Oh, City, big game for Arsenal. I don't think they're going to get the win against City. And then followed by that, they've got a, f a few tough games coming up, Arsenal. They've got, and then after that, they've got West Ham. So I don't think they're going to... I don't think they're going to get any luck, really, against... Uh, uh, I don't think they're going to get any luck now with... Um, um, what's his name? Arsene Wenger being still at Arsenal. But you never know what's going to happen. But, yeah, it's a, it's a very tough table now. Hope the Reds can just pull up. Uh, it's, a very, it's going to be very tough for us because we've got players who are not in the squad and still are bloody injured. But, yeah... Hope you guys have enjoyed another analysis of Brett's vlogs. I will see you guys this week uh, before we go to South Africa. Well, not before we go to South Africa. On the, on the uh, travel vlogs, going to South Africa. Hope you guys are going to have a great week. And I'll speak to you guys then. And I'll see you guys very later on. And peace. Uh -huh.